Do you know how long God says you're going to jail for? You're going to hell for? How long? How long do you think hell is for? How long? When God cast man into the lake of fire, how long is it for? A day? A week? A month? When he says, do not judge lest ye be judged, how long is that judgment for? How long is it for? There's usually a length of time. But for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and immoral persons and sorcerers, idolaters and liars, their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. How long? The scripture says, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every one of them according to their deeds. They were judged, the great and the small, and death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. How long is that lake of fire for, Americans? How long do we get to sit in there for? A day, a week, a month, a year, two months, two weeks? How long is it for? Does God tell us? And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Eternal. What is eternal? Are you going to be wearing that uniform eternally? Are you going to be presiding as president of the United States eternally? Are you going to be the senator of the state of Oregon and the 50 states eternally? Are you going to be married to that beautiful woman eternally? Not on this earth. Is it eternal? No, it's only for a little while. Only for a, a moment, a glimpse. You get to enjoy it for this long. You stand at the altar to have and to hold, for better or for worse, till death do us part. And God judges eternally. Are we to be supposed to be quiet? and not say something to you when eternal judgment is coming? I know, it sounds far-fetched. It doesn't sound like the political wording that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't sound like the verbiage of the Justice Center, right? It doesn't sound American. Well, God is not an American. God is a heavenly body. He's from heaven. You forget that the globe hangs on nothing. He's outside of the globe. His judgment is coming from the outside in. When he's observing us, he's sitting on his throne and observing us from the outside. The judge of the earth judges from the outside. And he speaks to man on inside. What does Isaiah say? Isaiah says, heaven is my throne, thus says the Lord and the earth is my footstool. Where then is a house you could build for me? And where is a place that I may rest? For my hand made all these things, thus all these things came into being, declared the Lord. He says, but to this one I will look, to him who is humble and contrite of spirit, who trembles at my word. Who trembles at my word. Can I say it one more time? Listen to what he says. Where is your judge? The judge that speaks these words this morning. The judge, listen to this, do not be judged, or do not judge lest you be judged. For in the way you judge, you will be judged, and by your standard of measure, it will be measured unto you. Who is saying these things? There are three, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
the sun comes down and he says, I'll give it to you. And what does he say? Do not judge. Do not take the position of Lucifer. Like who? Like Judas Iscariot did. And in so doing, he betrayed the Son of God. Don't do that. Don't take, don't, don't take Satan's position, Americans. Don't take Lucifer's position and betray the Son of God. What did Judas do? He committed suicide. The man went back up to heaven. You see? We don't talk about heaven in a, in a justice center, in a police department. We talk about guns. We talk about law. We talk about restriction. We call on, what are those people called? Uh, 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 um, correction officers. We call the sheriff. We call, you know, the district attorney to, to, to file charges against these people for the evil that they've done. What do we don't talk about? We don't talk about heaven. We don't talk about heaven in a federal government area. Looks like somebody put a knife, right? Somebody put a knife here. Somebody put a knife to my, to my Bible and cut the back of the Bible open. You can't see it. It's like if I were to take a pen or if I were to take this cross here and stick it in the back of the Bible here to show you that there is a hole. You see, there is a hole in the back of the Bible holding up, holding up this cross. Somebody went into the tent last night and cut open the back of the tent. Who could have done this? The Ku Klux Klan? Was it the mayor or the governor? Was it the, 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 the police department who opened the door and cut the back? If it wasn't this, it would have been the tent to stick a knife to stick a knife behind me, you know, to, to, to pluck me in the back. So instead of giving it to me, they gave it to the Bible. You see, this is what's going on. You don't even see it, right? They also cut here, right? They also cut here and they also cut here. You can see the cuts right there, right? Little cuts, all right? In any case, my uh, telephone here just gave me a warning and uh, I have to stop preaching, but I wanted to remind you of these things. 